Hello everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education. Welcome to Serpente Sunday for March 28th, 2021. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to introduce your snake to an exercise area for the first time. Now, if your snake is good about handling and already comfortable and relaxed with handling, and if you're doing choice-based handling and your snake is already coming out of their enclosure, on their own, then it makes it a lot easier to introduce them to an exercise area because you can just pick the snake up and carry them to the exercise area and place them in it. Or if your snake comes out on their own and climbs onto a station like Ronan here, you can just move the whole station to the exercise space or pick up the station if the snake is on a box and move them into the exercise tent or Spike who came out of his enclosure earlier today on his own and was moving around a room already, he was easy to just pick up and move into this exercise tent where he's been all day and is currently partially in this orange bucket. So those snakes are easy to move into and introduce to exercise spaces for the first time. And this is Spike's first time in this exercise space and he's been roaming around it for several hours. But what do you do if you have a snake that you want to introduce to an exercise area for the first time and they're not comfortable and relaxed with handling and they're not already coming out of their enclosure on their own? One of the things that I do with snakes like that is I make sure that every one of their hides has a bottom in it. And that may mean that I make a hide with the bottom out of some kind of a plastic container that I just cut a hole in and put that in their habitat as a hide. Or I might simply just use cardboard boxes, stuff I'm gonna throw away anyway, like maybe empty laundry detergent containers or plastic containers, but cardboard boxes work great. They're biodegradable, so if they get dirty and you're finished using them, you can just throw them away. You don't have to go out and buy an expensive hide with the bottom or an expensive cave. If you have a snake that's not comfortable and relaxed with handling, and if you have a snake that isn't already coming out of their enclosure on their own onto a station or onto a platform or a box that you can carry them to an exercise area in, you can just make sure that all of their hides have bottoms in them. And what I do is just wait for the snake to already be in their hide, whether it's a humid hide or a regular hide. And I get the exercise tent or the exercise box or the exercise enclosure or wherever I'm going to move them to safely exercise. All set up, I wait until the snake is in the box and then I just pick the whole thing up and I move it into the exercise space. And that's exactly what I did in this case with our corn snake, Beskar who is using this exercise tent for the very first time. I wanted to introduce our female corn snake, Beskar, to an exercise area. She's always been quite shy and she's never been out of her habitat for exercise. She's doing target training and she does foraging exercises within her habitat. However, she's never come out of her habitat voluntarily and she's not very amenable to handling. I noticed that she was inside one of her humid hides and that she was alert and awake. So I got the exercise tent all set up for her and I moved her along with her humid hide into the exercise space. I actually didn't even know if she would come out of her humid hide or not. And I was very surprised when she came out of her humid hide within just a few seconds of being in the exercise space and she started to explore around. I was also really surprised that she wasn't behaving in a nervous manner. She seemed relatively comfortable and relaxed for having just been moved out of her primary habitat into a strange location. I was shocked she came out of her humid hide pretty quickly and then I was really surprised at how comfortable and relaxed she seems moving around the exercise tent and exploring. I was also surprised by the fact that she came right by the open door where I was filming and she didn't seem bothered by my presence at all. So I was really pleased with this experience. I was very happy for her that she was getting to exercise, that she was getting to move around and explore novel objects and novel scents and textures. And I was thrilled to death that she wasn't nervous about it she really seemed comfortable and relaxed. So I left her be in the exercise tent for a while 
just to explore on her own without anybody watching her or bothering her at all. After she had been in the exercise tent for quite a while, I went ahead and set up a foraging exercise for her inside the tent. That means I added some plastic containers with two or three small rodents in them for her to hunt for and find. She did a great job with that. She found all the rodents and ate them. Actually, I think it was a couple of small hopper mice and maybe a quail, but you get the idea. I put food in there for her to find. She hunted around for it. She found it and she ate it. After she was done with that exercise, I left her in the tent for a few more minutes and then I started to strategize about how I was going to get her moved back to her primary habitat without upsetting her, making her nervous, or ruining this really positive experience that she had been having. I decided the best course of action, based on trying to be the least intrusive and minimally aversive, while still effectively getting her back to her primary habitat, was to just leave her alone until she went back inside her hide. She actually ended up going inside this, which was one of the activities I had for her inside the tent. And it's a big box that I had sphagnum moss in and some holes cut in the sides and the top of. She ended up going inside this. And so I just lifted this whole thing out of the exercise tent and I put it inside her regular enclosure. Now, the reason it's still inside her regular enclosure is because she has decided that she likes to lie on top of this container between it and the roof of her habitat during the day when her UVB lamp is on. So I've left it in there ever since the day that she used it in the exercise tent. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, always remember to be kind and love your animals.